Breaking news. Philippine seas get new guardians. A significant shift is underway, promising enhanced security and protection for our maritime territories. The Philippines is taking bold action to protect its vital maritime territories. This initiative marks a new era of vigilance and sovereignty over our waters. For years, illegal fishing and foreign poachers have threatened our marine resources and sovereignty. These activities have not only depleted our fish stocks, but also undermined the livelihoods of our local fisherfolk. The West Philippine Sea is not just a headline, it's a daily struggle for survival and national dignity. Our naval forces face constant challenges in these contested waters, defending our rights and resources. Our archipelago's vast coastline is difficult to patrol, making our waters a target for exploitation. The sheer size and complexity of our maritime domain require robust and effective surveillance. These illicit activities harm both our economy and fragile marine ecosystems. The damage to coral reefs and marine biodiversity is a pressing concern that demands immediate action. The Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, has fought hard, but with limited resources. Their aging fleet has struggled to keep pace with the growing threats. Today, the tide is turning. A new dawn is breaking, bringing hope and renewed strength to our maritime defenses. The Philippine government has approved a landmark project, two state-of-the-art 50-meter multi-mission offshore vessels, or MMOVs, for BFAR. These vessels represent a significant upgrade in our maritime capabilities. This is more than procurement. It's a declaration of intent to reclaim control over our maritime domain. It signifies a commitment to safeguarding our waters and asserting our sovereignty. These new vessels are faster, more resilient, and more versatile than anything in BFAR's current fleet. Equipped with advanced technology, they are designed to meet the challenges of modern maritime security. Even more significant, they'll be built right here at home by Gosefa Slipways and PropMech Corporation. This not only boosts our local industry but also ensures that our vessels are tailored to our specific needs. This partnership showcases Filipino skill and ingenuity, proving we can build the tools to defend our own waters. It highlights our capability to innovate and produce world-class maritime assets. The message is clear. The Philippines is committed to defending its seas and building its own future. Our resolve is stronger than ever, and our determination is unwavering. This is a story of empowerment, self-reliance, and a nation rising to meet its challenges. Together, we are forging a path towards a secure and prosperous maritime future. The journey from plan to reality began in the quiet hours of dawn, as the first light touched the shipyards of the Philippines. It was here that a new chapter for the nation's maritime future was set in motion. The pivotal moment arrived when the Department of Agriculture, through the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, officially issued the notice to proceed for the construction of the new multi-mission offshore vessels, or MMOVs. This document is more than just paperwork. It's the official green light a powerful symbol of commitment and trust for this nationally significant project. It confirms not only full funding and government approval, but also the unwavering support behind turning vision into action, transforming ideas into tangible progress. For coastal communities, this is a promise delivered. The government is investing in the long-term security of our marine resources, ensuring that future generations can continue to rely on the bounty of our seas. The notice to proceed energizes shipyards across the country, creating new jobs, supporting families, and stimulating the local economy. It breathes life into the industry, inspiring pride and hope among workers. For Josefa Slipways and PropMech, it's a monumental vote of confidence. This empowers them to mobilize resources, hire skilled labor, and invest in advanced technologies, raising the bar for Philippine shipbuilding. This is not just a contract, it's a partnership with the nation, uniting government, industry and community in a shared mission to protect our waters. The notice to proceed unlocks the potential of local industries allowing them to contribute directly to national security and technological advancement. It sets in motion a complex process of engineering, material sourcing and workforce planning, ensuring every detail is carefully managed from the ground up. The project's milestones now have a clear timeline, with every phase mapped out and every goal within reach. The government's message is clear. The time for talk is over. The time for building is now. The nation is ready to move forward. As the ink dries on the notice to proceed, a new chapter in Philippine maritime history begins, filled with promise and determination. 
stronger, more capable guardians for our seas are officially underway ready to defend, protect and serve the nation for years to come. These new 50-meter multi-mission offshore vessels, or MMOVs, are a true game-changer for the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR. Designed with the latest maritime technology, they represent a significant leap forward in the country's ability to safeguard its waters. The most revolutionary feature, a dedicated helipad, a first for the BFAR fleet, and a major milestone in Philippine maritime history. This addition signals a new era of capability and readiness. In the past, patrol vessels were limited to surface operations, relying solely on what could be seen from the deck. Now, with the MMOV, BFAR adds a powerful aerial dimension to its patrols, opening up new possibilities for monitoring and response. The helipad enables the launch and recovery of both helicopters and drones, transforming the MMOV into a true mobile command center and advanced surveillance platform, capable of rapid deployment and real-time intelligence gathering. This single feature massively extends the vessel's operational reach and flexibility, allowing it to cover vast areas of ocean that were previously out of range. The innovative design directly addresses the unique challenges of patrolling our archipelago's thousands of islands, remote shorelines, and hidden coves, areas where illegal activities often go undetected. With aerial assets on board, the MMOV can now scout ahead, survey wide maritime zones, and track fleeing vessels with unprecedented speed and accuracy. It's not just about chasing intruders, it's about anticipating threats, gathering superior information, and acting decisively to protect our resources. This marks a new philosophy for BFAR. Faster, smarter, and more integrated maritime operations, where sea and sky work together seamlessly. These MMOVs embody a bold, assertive strategy to protect the Philippines' marine wealth, ensuring that our nation's resources are preserved and defended for generations to come. The helipad and aerial assets will revolutionize BFAR's surveillance. Drones launched from the MMOV can patrol vast areas quickly, gathering high-resolution evidence while the ship remains undetected. Illegal fishers use sophisticated tactics, but drones with thermal cameras can spot them day or night. This gives BFAR the element of surprise and the ability to plan precise, legally sound enforcement. Drones can also monitor remote marine protected areas, ensuring no unauthorized activities go unnoticed. Real-time intelligence is streamed back to the ship and headquarters, enabling coordinated rapid responses. Decisions are now based on live data, not guesswork. The MMOV transforms patrols into sophisticated intelligence missions, making our waters far less hospitable to lawbreakers. BFAR's mission includes saving lives at sea, and the new MMOVs will dramatically enhance search and rescue. Helicopters can launch from the deck, slashing response times in emergencies. In typhoons or accidents these vessels can be pre-positioned for rapid rescue, providing hope to families on shore. Helicopters can spot survivors, deploy rescue swimmers, and perform medical evacuations. Drones can quickly locate vessels in distress, allowing the crew to assess and respond faster. This capability saves lives and reassures maritime communities that they are not alone. Advanced vessels on patrol mean fisherfolk can venture out with greater confidence and security. The MMOV is more than hardware, it's a guardian of both marine and human life. No single agency can handle the challenges in Philippine waters alone. The new MMOVs are force multipliers, enabling unprecedented synergy between BFAR, the Coast Guard, Navy, and Police Maritime Group. The helipad allows helicopters from any agency to land, refuel, and extend their reach. The MMOV can serve as a command hub, coordinating joint operations and guiding interceptors or boarding teams. Specialized teams from different agencies can be hosted on board, tailoring the vessel for specific missions. This eliminates logistical hurdles and speeds up joint operations. The MMOV is a floating multi-agency outpost, closing gaps criminals once exploited. By providing a common platform, these vessels weave together the strengths of each agency. The message is clear, maritime threats now face the combined might of the Republic. Protecting our fisheries is about national and economic security. The blue economy, Fishing, aquaculture, trade, tourism, is a cornerstone of prosperity. Illegal fishing steals billions from Filipinos every year. The new MMOVs are a direct investment in protecting this economic engine and ensuring sustainable fish stocks. Their presence asserts our sovereign rights over the exclusive economic zone, making those rights enforceable. Modern, Filipino-flagged vessels in the West Philippine Sea are a powerful symbol of authority. Safe, well-regulated waters encourage investment and growth in fishing, 
aquaculture and tourism. These ships are an investment that will pay dividends for decades. They are crucial for food security, ensuring our seas continue to feed the nation. Every patrol is a mission to protect the Filipino table and our national pantry. Building these advanced MMOVs locally is a landmark achievement. It proves the world-class talent of the Philippine shipbuilding industry and marks a shift towards self-reliance. The Josefa Slipways and PropMech partnership brings together decades of expertise. This project creates hundreds of skilled jobs and stimulates a domestic supply chain. The investment stays in the Philippines, supporting families and national development. Building at home ensures knowledge and technology remain here, reducing dependence on foreign suppliers. Our shipbuilders gain experience for future projects, fostering innovation. These vessels will be Filipino-built for Filipino purposes, sailing in Filipino waters. When launched, they'll be floating symbols of national ingenuity and pride. This is more than shipbuilding, it's nation-building. The approval of these helipad-equipped MMOVs marks a new chapter for the Philippines. These vessels embody our commitment to protect our marine heritage and secure our future. They will be a reassuring sight on the horizon, deterring threats and comforting those who depend on the sea. Aerial capabilities make BFAR more proactive and effective than ever. This investment safeguards food security, economic stability, and territorial integrity for generations. Built by Filipinos, these ships are a testament to our skill and self-reliance. They prove that united we can overcome any challenge. Let's celebrate this milestone and support the workers bringing these vessels to life. What are your thoughts on these new guardians of our seas? Share your opinions below and join the national conversation.